so fucking funny, it makes me want to cry. I've always liked your work because it's so fucking funny, it makes me want to cry. I've always liked your work because it's so fucking funny, it makes me want to cry. I've always liked your work because it's so fucking funny, it makes me want to cry. I've always liked your work because it's so fucking funny, it makes me want to cry. Your audience or the or the viewer is sort of already there. So it's sort of Baroque, you know. It's like uh, you're going to decorate the decoration with some more decoration when, when you don't, when you already have established the sort of framework. And so you create a framework and we step into your framework and therefore, we can come out on the other side with some deep reflection. But if everything is already shaped, the tunnel we're going to go through, then, you know, it's, it gets boring because we already know what the conclusion is. And so the work has to really fuck with our capacity uh, to be clearly clearly, you know, structured in the comfort that you force us into because you didn't already shape, we agree with it, with the framework. So, so, so what else? Mm -hmm. And that's why I think the, the trapped fly that opened the dialogue, most of what the rest of it said was already inherent in the struggle and the beauty associated with that moment. So everything else got like decoration on, on decoration. So, so I just, I think you have really interesting film technique. But I think you, you want us to see a certain way, see what you think a certain way, and, and you're not really thinking about us as much, and what I, what I mean by that is that you're not, you're thinking only in the feeling. That's true. Only I, I in the feeling. Like, only so in this. And my point is, like, it's, art is transformative in relationship to feeling. Transformative in relationship to experience. And so, that's what affects us. And it doesn't have to be heavy handed. It don't have to be a boom. It could just be silence. And articulated properly can bring you to your knees. That sounds stupid, but, but that's real. And, and that's why I think all that capacity that you have in filmmaking could be more effectively reduced. Question. Not necessarily answer. I saw a lot of answers. That's true. I mean, I saw most of the answers. Yeah. You know, right down to the poor possum's fingers trapped in. I don't know if I got it. Well, what I felt about your work in general, I'm not even familiar with it, especially your videos, looks like, you know. I don't even know what to call them, the classifiers. But anyway, you, could, you have a thing like, you can show it all, you can expose it, it looks very subversive. You can like make fun of your own serious works. You can like, they, they, they're going in a one way and then you kind of like sabotage them. And yeah. you just like keep pulling the rock from underneath me. So I think this has, like your work, the potential to work naked and everything exposed and stupid looking, but there's a lot more to it than one you think. Or to really slick it up with all the more like dark lights, theatrical drama. She has both has both potentials. But you're I love it always like to work because it's so fucking funny it makes me want to cry. Okay? Yeah. Makes me want to cry. You think it's funny and then there's a subtext that's very filled with humanity. Vulnerability.
Fun Curi yeah, curiosity. <laughs> I could just see me going, if you're so funny, it makes me want to cry like loot. <laughs> on social media. This is actually a recording. Ah, well, no, because, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's recording. You mean the video? Oh, it's recording. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to use that. You're going to use, like, me going, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, no, not ready. Not you have one coming going. <laughs> we have to start wrapping okay, okay. up. Okay. Another idea, you know, suggestion, so you to make a decision, but I don't know why I have this feeling that how can we incorporate that into this and that? Think about it. And with everything that, well, well, everything that Christopher yeah, said, yeah. like whether this is real in real yeah, time yeah. or not real time, yeah, if yeah. it's recorded or not recorded, but I don't know why I have, because I want to see it all one piece, yeah. one system. Yeah. And I don't want to see that this here yeah, on no, no, no. a flat screen. No, no, no. I think it's so hard to get. But yeah. if, if this is, or that one is incorporated here somehow, yeah. if it's a small monitor, yeah. small little monitor, yeah. like I start looking at this, this kind of spaces you have, and I go, oh, there's a lot of potential for all this. Yeah, that's what I made it. You know? Pieces of that were actually these files. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a lot, of stuff a lot of possibilities. I mean, because I want to look in here. <coughs> I want to. I want to be looking on that. Yeah. And that should be a little mini frizz of beer. That's why you start to sit down and have a beer. Yeah. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it was a uh, really good brainstorming. Yeah, good, good, good. And then you need a sign, according sure. to Christopher, that goes, next show at 2. <laughs> <laughs> Shows at 2, 4, yeah. and 5. Yeah. <laughs>